All right, guys. So today we're going to find out if the new collector's chest summer 2020 is worth it. Now, this is a new product that released along with all the other back to school products. And I will have a separate video reviewing the three back to school products as well. And we're just going to open this product, review it, see what the pack selections like, see what comes inside of it in terms of like promo cards and that sort, and just see if the product is worth it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it today. Now, the product, the, the thing about collector's chest is they're usually, if you're buying them at MSRP, they're a little bit overpriced. I think these things MSRP at $29.99. And back when they were first introduced, or like when they were like starting out, they had a lot of cool things inside of them. Like they used to have like pencils, they used to have, um, what else did they used to have? They used to have like exclusive promo cards. Like, um, if you think, like, the, um, I think it was the Gengar one, had a shiny Gengar, shiny Mega Gengar EX, right? And that was exclusive to this tin. Now, all they do is they take cards, usually, from the set that is currently released, or a set, the prior set before that, and they just give them a Cosmo foiling, and then it kind of feels like there's nothing unique to this tin unless you just want a Cosmo version of a common card. And back then, you used to get pencils, you used to get this little notepad, you got stickers, you got your mini portfolio, you would get your six booster packs, and then you would get like promos that were exclusive to this. And I think the last tin that we've seen that had exclusive promos was either Celebrations or the one that was based off the movie that had the um, armored Mewtwo in it. I don't remember which one came for, uh, came last, but I think it was the Celebrations one, which had three exclusive Celebration promos. But your 10 does feature um, Iron Thorns, Iron Valiant, and then it also features Fluttermane and Screamtail. So pretty cool in terms of like which Pokemon are featured. You do get a series of stickers. Anybody who's a fan of stickers, these are always cool to have. If you have a kid who loves Pokemon, this is probably something that they'd really enjoy. Same with the mini portfolio. No major collector, no high-end collector really uses these, but kids love these things. My niece, when she was younger, used to love just packing these up with Pikachu cards. So these are items that are perfect for kids. So if you're looking for a Pokemon product to buy for a kid, this is something I would highly recommend. You also get two promos and two coins. Now, I'll tell you right now, I love the coins. The coins are awesome because one coin features Screamtail, the other coin features Iron Valiant. So if you're a coin collector, these are really cool. I will say that the Iron Valiant coin, the coloring they use is super dark. So you have to hold the coin at right angles to really see it. But the screen tell is just really stunning. Those coins are awesome. Then that tells us what our two promos are going to be based off. First and foremost, for those of you watching that want to try that code, go ahead. But you get screen tell, which is a beautiful card done by Kawaiu. This is the Temporal Force of Screamtail, so the set before. And if you look by his foot, you can kind of see a beautiful swirl there. So that's an awesome card that I'll be adding into the collection. And for those of you that love Iron Valiant or Gallade, or even Gardevoir, this is a beautiful card. Now, one of the things I love about these is if you look, the Cosmo Foiling extends into that effect right there. The uh, Ancient and Future effects have the Cosmo Foiling as well. So those look really nice. So I'm not necessarily going to hate on these promos too much. Now, unfortunately, they're just Cosmo promos, so they're not like not like anything grandeur and they're not going to be high end collectible promos because there's common versions of the same cards. But if you're somebody who really loves Pokemon and you really enjoy the Scarlet and Violet games, this might be cards you want to add to your collection. So we've seen stickers, we've seen the mini portfolio, you've seen the collector's chest itself, which works as a lunchbox. You see your two promos and you see your coins. Now, you also get six packs. Now, the pack selection I actually really enjoy. First and foremost, I am a defender of Obsidian Flames, so I actually love Obsidian Flames. And Paradox Rift is always fun to open because there's a lot of good cards to still chase in the set. And then you get two Temporal Forces and two Twilight Masquerade. So what I think I'll do is I'll rotate these around so that way we kind of just mix up the selection and we're going to see if we could pull anything out of these six packs. Now, I will say this as a review. If you're trying to buy a Pokemon product for a kid, an elementary school kid who just wants to open up Pokemon cards and they don't care what they're collecting, this is perfect. This is a 10 out of 10 product for a kid. But if you're a serious collector and you're somebody who's looking up to open up some packs, even if you're just trying to have fun, this is all question. Do you think these six packs are worth $30? 
because you're not really gonna get much value from your two promos. So is this where all your value lies? That's the question you have to ask yourself when opening up this product, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into these six packs and see if we could pull anything. I will be giving away all codes in today's video. So make sure you use those if you're first here. And I, any opening I do exclusive for YouTube, I will give away the codes during that opening, okay? So make sure if you like codes that you're here. Sada's Vitality is actually a pretty solid trainer card. So we're starting off with Zekrom, Pumpkaboo, and Volcanion. I actually really like the Volcanion Pokemon, so that's not a bad hit. But we're wanting to actually hit something. We don't want to just be stuck with nothing. Code card for Masquerade. And let's see if we can get that Greninja. If not Greninja, Eevee or Perrin. Eevee because I only have the Japanese copy right now. Perrin because that's my current chase. And then Greninja because Greninja would buy me both Perrin and Eevee if I sold it. Unfortunately, just an Infernape. So, so far we're 0-2, but that's fine because we got Temporal Forces next. If I had to pick a card I want from Temporal Forces the most, it's between Morty's, uh, the trainer card, and um, your, um, what is it called? What, uh, what is it? Gouging Fires the Entei? I think that's his name. I had to think of his name because I'm not too familiar. But the Entei one, that's the only Pokemon SIR I want from this set. So if we can pull an SIR, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, just a Mel Metal. Okay, that's fine. Next, we got uh, Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames is a pretty fun set to open up. There are some cool cards you can get out of Obsidian Flames. Uh, most importantly, you can get Charizard. And I've already got the Charizard in my collection, but I will never not ask for another one, especially if we can get a PSA 10 quality version of that Charizard. Unfortunately, doesn't look like we're going to walk away with Charizard. Just a Caesar. Alright, Temporal Forces. We got two packs left. Temporal Forces. Let's get something good. Let's get Gouging Fire. Let's get Morty's... Con or no, is it Conviction? A Chateau. That is Dun Dun Sparks. That is ironic considering the last time I opened up a tin for a video or a box for a video, I think this was the only hit we got then too. And it was six packs as well. So Chateau's pretty cool. Not a card that I would have hoped to pull, um, especially when it comes to IRs because I already own that card. But I mean, if we're gonna, if, if we're gonna open up a pack, any hit's always a good hit. You know what I mean? Because you see right now we're one in four or one in five. So this is our last pack. Let's get some last pack magic. Unfortunately, oh, Lucian, I will take that. I needed this for my personal collection. So you know what? I walk away with something today. That's nice. Ooh, I really dig that. Lucian is a really cool card. Not necessarily playable or highly valuable, but it's definitely a card that'll be adding into personal collection. So. With that being said, these are the only cards that we're walking away with today, unless you include our accounting bulk. So one IR and one full art, which is probably above average in terms of what these tins might hold. Now, this brings me to the serious talking point. Do you, you think this is worth it? Are these worth, worth it? Like, that's just a serious question. Should you, buy a box or a tin for $29.99 if you find it on Walmart shelf and pull this. It's up to you. I don't. I personally think it's worth it because I had fun opening up this product. And I absolutely think if you're buying for a child, somebody who's like sixth grade or lower, that it's absolutely worth it because you're gonna have, they're gonna have a great old time and they're gonna have stuff that they're gonna use outside of the trading cards. But if you're a serious collector, if you really need these for like your master set, let's say you collect every variant of a card, buy one, rip it, maybe you get lucky and get a couple good hits, and then just skip past it for the remainder. Outside of that, these are not a product that I would ever recommend buying in like bulk or like buying a case of them. 
just because there are better products with better value like per pack that you can pick up out there that'll probably have a better chance at pool rates than this with that being said guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a great evening bye